get ready for our special guest tonight because we're just going to spice it up. We're going we're to add so many confident hits into one crate that it's going to blow your mind, but we can't do it without your help, which is why I continue to ask for the ones in the chat, even if it's on YouTube. If you're watching the YouTube replay, just one one in the comment below is going to boost it up. It's going to help us get noticed. What we are is just a bunch of DJs who love to talk about bangers. Sometimes there's those brides and the grooms who will just say, go full throttle. Last Saturday, <laughs> awesome story. They booked me because they knew that I, I went hard in the paint. I love to go hard in the paint. And they said, we love trap. We love hard house. We love this. We, we want you to just go in. And I thought, okay, that's good and all, but how many people are attending? About 150. I'm like, okay, how old is the audience? <laughs> Worrying that I was going to offend grandma or scare away mom, or especially the dad who may or may not have been paying for the wedding. So you have to play that balancing act. I've seen some brides come to me and say, listen, I want you to go full twerk out of the gates. I want you to, I want ratchet right now. <laughs> and I don't care if the bride or the dad says otherwise. And it puts that DJ in the awkward position. But my point is there's got to be some threshold. There's got to be some accelerator. And that's where the crate comes in tonight. If you're excited for this and you're curious to know what sits behind the curtain, just continue with the ones, continue with the ones. And while I acknowledge the chat, I see what's up with the chat. How are you all? Todd Sickmiller, great to see you again. Good to see you. How was your weekend? One word in the chat. How was your gig this weekend? What kind of wedding did you have this weekend? I await your response in the chat. One word to describe this week's wedding. What was it like? Todd traveled. Okay. Scott had an epic wedding. <laughs> nice. Good to hear. Desiree had a country wedding. Excellent. Chris had an epic wedding. These are good. Cali wedding for Mike Via. Dude, you bounce between Texas and California so much. Long dance set. David said killer garden party, Justin Kanoya. Awesome. Justin, by the way, we'll, we'll, I want to talk to you during round two. Here, by the way, are you seeing the screen? Can you see exactly the schedule of what's going down? Creeping up on about three more minutes left before we go into round one with selections. And we're going to go and open up the crate. We're going to decide what songs should stay, what songs we should play, and what songs need to go away. So at 10 after, we're going to crack the code. And we're going to bring our special guest in to really help us hack further. And then we're going to play some games. We're going to spice it up. I've always loved to just keep the conversation interesting. And if we stay stagnant, then I lose you. So keep this chat flowing because we feed off of that. And oh, by the way, big things happen in the chat. Big things happen in the chat. We'll give away some cash prizes tonight. I'll tell you that for first place. We would uh, love to see you make a connection in your market in the chat right now, tell me. Again, even if you're watching the YouTube replay, tell me in the chat where you are from. We're trying to connect hackers with hackers. I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. Where are you from? Key West, Scott, Central Illinois, Jeremy, Fresno, Corpus Christi. Wow, we're everywhere. Keep it up. New Jersey. Glenn's from New Jersey. That's, oh, man, you should move to New York. Uh, Still New not Jer from New Jersey. Still not from New Jersey. <laughs> we're just going to talk about bangers across the nation tonight. And we're going to represent from all across. And who better to do it than with someone who I'm quickly going to become friends with tonight? Get to know him. He's got class. He's got style. And he's definitely got, man, can I just, DJ Malik, if anybody knows Malik, put a one in the chat right now. If you're following him on Instagram, which we're about to right now, I want to make this introduction formal because there's a sense of class that I'm getting just by going through his Instagram. There's something about class and just a visual approach. Like you're going to bring the party. Look at this baller photo. Look at, look at this baller photo. Yeah. Just epic. I, I'm dying to see what his crate looks like. Cause if he's setting off these kind of parties and this kind of tone, then I want to know more about it. So I set him up for the task. DJ Malik, speak up my friend. Where are you from? Where are you representing? Am I seeing Florida on your website right now? What, what up? You guys can hear me, right? I think I'm yes. Good. Welcome cool, to the man. club. Born, glad to be here. Born in Brooklyn, though, but live in Naples, Florida, man. So we're southwest under Tampa, above Miami, in the middle. Wherever that hurricane just was, you guys, that was exactly where we, where we were. So yeah, in Naples, man. Been here for 20, 23 years. What and up, guys? I was, I was asking you earlier before we were going to jump into the hackathon. We've been talking a lot about weddings this season, and 
I said, you'd, was, would there be anything else you would want to talk about? And you, you were pretty adamant. You're like, no, I, this is my <laughs> wheelhouse. Weddings is, you need me to talk about weddings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got a feeling we're going to see some different, different opinions. Tell me why this is your wheelhouse. Oh man. All right. So I see East New York in the building. I'm originally from Brooklyn, man. And when I moved to Florida, I, I was doing clubs and the party stuff and I got my first wedding by accident. DJ backed out of a wedding. They're like, you want to do it? I'm like, I don't know. They obviously told me the price and I was like, okay, let's try it out. And like probably how a lot of us get into it. I did my first wedding. And when I did it, I was able to, I kept hearing the same thing after over and over I, other than the paycheck, obviously that was dope. But what I got at the end of it was they're like, bro, you brought like the club feeling to this wedding atmosphere. And they were like, bro, like I, I'm so tired of the cheesy DJ and the this and the same songs over and over. And since 2009, that's been my niche. That's been the thing that my differentiator say is, People want to book their favorite club DJ for a wedding, but necessarily, I guess club DJs don't really have the best reputation on being like professional and hosting and all that good stuff. Yeah. And then a lot of my club DJ friends don't want to do weddings. So right. I'm like, man, we want a club DJ feel, but we don't want to piss off our grandma, but we want to rage at the end of the night. And it was like, yo, that's exactly what I do. Me being into aesthetics and style, I get along with the planners a lot. I, I, I'm big on aesthetic. I'm big on presentation. And I like to say, we're going to go from classy dinner party to Coachella by the end of your wedding. And every time I say that on a sales call, all my couples who like are my ideal couples resonate with that. So bro, like that's why I love weddings because I feel like I'm able to take that energy and put it in this dope, beautiful. If you go through my Instagram, you'll see, yo, how are they going that crazy in suits and ties? And that's what I love, man. It's like that juxtaposition of we're going to get lit. And <laughs> grandma's not going to get bad. And I was about to ask that. I was about to ask. So <laughs> when it comes to reading that room, let's put a pin on that and discuss the time to go full throttle, because obviously there are age groups we have to entertain. Yeah. And there's a time and place to do this. But first, I want to show you how a hackathon works. This is your first time doing a hackathon. Is that right? Yeah, I've jumped in like really quick and then okay. baby's crying and I got to jump out. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, things move fast here. Yeah. But you and I are basically going to talk about a crate that's messy right now. I'm going to show you the inner workings of kind of a combination of, let's say you and I shared a folder and we just started dropping music together and we just, we wanted to make some sense of it together. We're going to do that on screen. And then everyone around us, the people in the chat, the ones who are hanging out with us, they're going to help us decide what songs need to go away. It's fun. Let me show you how it works. Everyone go to your second browser. One of the cool things about being a hacker is you have to be a multitasker. We believe that working smarter and not harder. Take a second tab, take a second screen, take a mobile device, take an iPad and go to crateoftheweek.com. Crateoftheweek.com. Again, I'm going to repeat that. Crateoftheweek.com. Give you it's a couple of seconds. Crate to do of that. the week. We need a theme song. We need a theme, dude. Okay. Glenn. Sorry, I forgot to build that. I talked about that last time and I forgot to build it. I will I'll try to remind myself to do that. Oh, you're the one that's going to make us jingles, aren't you? I'll try. Crate of the week. Pow, pow. It's the crate, crate of, of the week. week. Yeah. yeah. You like a horn in there or something. The crate of the it's week. So, oh, like we, we have all these amazing and, visuals and, and, and all this cool. Yeah, Must we don't have. have any. We don't have any cowbell. Can you bring yeah. the cowbell, please? For a bunch of DJs, we suck at the music part of this. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. It's like I love it how we kick off the show with this amazing like countdown screen and then no music. Dead silence. Like and, you guys and, have been in broadcast forever and we forget everything we've ever learned. <laughs> crate of the week.com is going to get you to the crate of the week. It's week. the crate of the week. Crate of the week. Crate of the week. Com. Crate of the week. Crate of the week. Crate of the week. Yeah. Wedding bangers. Okay. So check it out. We're not going to let any freeloaders take a peek. We'll give you some previews tonight, but in order to see the crate, you got to unlock the crate. And the way to unlock the crate is to collaborate. This is what hackathons are about. We solve problems together. I need two song choices. I'm going to pick somebody out of the crowd. I'm going to pick somebody out of the crowd. It could be anybody. It could be anybody. I'm going to bring in, I'm going to bring in, I'm going to bring in my, I'm seeing so many legendary DJs in the room tonight. This is going to be tough. My, is that Justin the DJ? I see Justin the DJ. Justin the DJ. What? Put them on, Sorry. put them on. Put them on, where are put you? Justin on, this is, there's just no doubt about My it. Guy. I need two song choices from Justin. Let's go, Justin. 
putting you on the spot. Unlock the crate for us tonight, Justin. Welcome aboard, man. What up? Poor Justin. Leave me the hell alone. I just want to get on. I just want to watch. Hey, I'll put you on the spot over here. What's up? I'm putting you on the spot, Justin. What are we doing? I need two song. I need two wedding bangers. Two wedding bangers. Like peak hour. Bangers? Okay. What's up, baby? What's up, baby? Are we thinking? Are we thinking a certain style, or what are we thinking right now, M- Malik? Because you can go a lot of different uh, directions with this. Like, start, how would you start it off? How would you start off the set? Oh, maybe go older, older crowd. Uh, okay, if you're thinking older, you can't go wrong with "I Want to Dance with Somebody" or "Dancing Queen" or something like that. Let's go. Yeah. Good deal. Good deal. All right, "Dancing Queen" for sure. Add that one. One more. I want. You could do "I Want to Dance with Somebody." You could do. September. September. September's a good start. All right. In the chat, tell me, dance with somebody or September? That's the tough one, dude. Just uh, in general? It's got to be like one or the other. Mike says September. John says September. Less Both September. Both are great songs. You should play both of them, but. Yeah, that's true. a tough one. True. But Malik was saying, you starting the party out? I think September, September might be the move. I'm going September. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, Malik, here's how it works. I'm going to shock your system and let you see a scattered mess ahead of you. By the way, one's in the chat for Justin. One's in the chat. Stay with us, Justin, because we have a special treat for all Justin the DJ fans. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is a big one. Big announcement coming up. We're going to hack this crate first. We're going to take Justin the DJ's suggestions, and we're going to unlock the crate. Everybody can do this. You can all do the same right now, just like Justin did, by going to Crate of the Week. Crate of the Week. Create of the week.com. Create of the week.com. Malik, how would you sing it? What would be Create of the Week? Oh, I would go Create of the Week. I like that. A little, little I, like that. I like that. <laughs> of the week. Okay, you suggest your songs. And then boom. Okay, now avert your eyes. Don't look on the right hand side. Do not look. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. I'm gonna I'm gonna just get a ah dang it. Jeez, everyone's gonna look. Whatever. Here it is. Look on the left hand side, Malik. Left hand. Got you. Starting to recognize a few things? Yeah, man. Seeing Tell me bangers. what you're seeing. Initial impressions as we go slowly down this. Talk me through your thoughts of... Banger. I'm seeing bangers in different genres, different styles, for sure. Depending on... the. Obviously, we're all DJ to different crowds, so I'm feeling like, depending on who's in front of me. But these, the reason why I think they're wedding bangers is because they could hit, even if someone doesn't like necessarily genre, they'll still get the song and still be able to sing the song at some point. So these are good. I'm liking them. Yeah, yeah. I, we're, we're scraping the surface. <laughs> yeah. we're, because we have a hundred songs on the left side. It was a combination between you and I. Yeah. We both collaborated and decided the top 100. Over on the right-hand side of the screen, you're starting to see song picks. Anybody who went to createoftheweek.com, they get to suggest songs too. So over on the right-hand side, you got Sean Kirk with Dancing Queen. That's great. Oh, wait, now it's moved. So we got Todd Sigmiller with, oh, dude, Todd, Todd, by the way, he won $50 last time because his song stayed at the top. You're starting to see some movement here. Todd, if you can land the top spot again, that means I owe you, what, 100 bucks now? The funny thing is Todd actually gives me half of that to mess with the numbers behind the scenes. So, oh, uh, yeah, we got a so little thing. He's swaying the election. He's swaying. Right. The, this is fake news. <laughs> Listen, swing vote. I got to pay don't, the bill. You know? Come on. Don't worry. So you can the, send me money, too, and I can help you out. So this has just become <laughs> Billboard.com all over again. Malik, your thoughts on the leaderboard over here so far? September is one. September is just people loving September. I think it's a universal song, man. You can't. It's undeniable. But I'm seeing. For some reason, my login for Cray Hackers, I forgot. I think I forgot my password, so I can't even get in. But Oh, <laughs> well, we can change that. I got you. Can't get I know somebody my, who knows somebody. My account. I, I know somebody try, who knows somebody. Password one, two, yeah. three, four. <laughs> new 2023 entry. We need to hear this one. This is the uh, the new David Guetta. Yeah, I walk it, I talk it, I live it. What we do behind doors is our business. Oh, my body, he giving me kisses. That's BB Rex. I think it's BB Rex. I tell you, man. I'm confident. I'm confident Actually, that, that isn't that Anne Marie. I don't think it's BB Rexa. It sounds like her, but I think it's Anne Marie. Anne Marie. Okay. I'm going to okay. fact check myself. Yes, Anne Anne Marie. Gosh, man, David Guetta. He's on fire. I'm pretty sure he has he has more than one David Guetta. I'm pretty convinced there's like 15 David Guettas, and they all make remixes. He there's comes out with a remix mashups. more times than I pay my bills. There's some cool mashups of that one too, where you can do the 
that song, but then it starts off with the original What It's Love, and then it like Ooh. segues into yeah. that version, and it, it hits so good. Okay, let's play a game. Y'all want to play a game? Justin, Malik, you down for this? Yeah, let's go. I'm with it. Here we go. This is a game called Ones and Those. Ones and Those. And the way this works is it's a mess right now, and we have to sometimes kill some songs to let the cream rise. So we want to go ahead and look at it from a DJ's perspective. We're going to scroll through and Justin's going to say stop. Justin's going to say stop and then we're going to play the song and everyone's going to say one or zero. So with a one, you're going to say, yeah, I'll keep that song. But a zero means we need to get that song out of the crate. That song needs to die. So it's that simple. If you're down for it, Malik, I want to get your silent opinion following everybody else's. So you're going to be the overall decider okay. after everybody does their thing. All right, you ready? Is everybody ready? I don't know. You ready, Justin? Here's what we're going to do. You tell me when to stop. Tell me when to say stop. Stop. Okay. This is how we do it. On tell Jordan. Ones um, or zeros? Ones, zeros. Jesse says one. Les says one. Jose, I'm one. Sorry, yeah, Todd, nice. one. Johnny, one. Chris says it's a classic. Eddie says it's a one. Young Cho says he would like to say zero, but have to say one. Jeremy says it. I love the 24K blend of the song. Yeah, good choice. Malik. It's a one, bro. Undeniable one. All day. All day, bro. 90s. It, people are going to start doing the old 90s dances. They're going to they're gonna wait to this is how we... It's a banger, bro. Certified. <laughs> Certified. Certified. Agreed. Agreed. Just, uh, now it's your turn. Go ahead and say stop. Tell us when. Stop. Oh, it landed on Call Me Maybe by Carly Rae Jepsen. Ooh. Zero. Oh, Jesse says zero. David says zero. Josh says zero. Jeremy says zero. Jo wow. Oh, wow. Depends on the crowd, says Brian. Herbert says zero. Todd Signaler gave it a half. Or maybe that's a one and a two. Depends on the client, says Lee. All right. Malik? Nah, it's got to be a zero for me, man. Unless, uh, like it ha and I saw a bunch of people say it. Like, it depends on who it is, a bunch of white girls, blah, blah, blah. But, like, bro, like, that has to mean something to that group of people. Like, they have to have gone to freaking high school together, and that was their thing. Like, it just doesn't work for every crowd. I haven't played that in a while, so I don't <laughs> think I could do that there. That's a zero. That's a zero Justin the DJ? Justin the DJ, what are your thoughts? I was thinking it's, it's a good song. I wouldn't make it my first song. But maybe later in the night, I would definitely try and play it or do a cool mashup or something mm -hmm. like that. Get a little liquor in their system, then they might find the guilty pleasure song. <laughs> yeah. All right. One more round, Justin. You tell me when to stop. Right there. Stop. Ooh. The Amelie Side Piece Remix. We're talking bangers. We're talking bangers. One, one, zero. Nick says zero. Eddie says one, 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 one. Jeremy says one, one, one. Point four. We got a point four. Brian says one. Herbert says one. Mike Villa says one, zero, one for the original. Oh, we need to talk about this. Last hour of the wedding, good call. Two from Mike Willis, zero from Chris. Darrell says zero. Okay, now you'll notice, Malik, you and I, I switched it up on you. You gave me a milli, I gave you the side piece remake. Let's come to blows with this. Let's fight about this one. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to, I might start with that and then go into the original. Cause look, that song is about rapping the verse, right? People need, that's almost like everyone's song rap song that they could rap every single verse to. So I think you got to give them that ability to get that verse, at least a verse or two off or like a couple bars, but you got to let people like start. Cause everyone secretly wants to be Lil Wayne in that moment. So I might start with that and maybe transition out of that into either out of or into that. But I think yeah. either one, as long as people can rap that, part of the verse i think you got him period nice very well put very do you agree chat what do you say what do you say chat listen here's what's next i want to show you all a little treat a little something behind the curtain for those of you who are not Cree hackers members you may be following justin the dj and i would like to share you a brand new update on the home page as of today we are launching justin the dj crates we got ourselves wow. the 2000 2000s pop. I'm not going to go any lower than this because everyone else needs to see the rest. But uh, Justin, you're building crates for crate hackers? Talk to us. Oh, man, I guess so. Just dropping a couple crates here and there. Just a couple of songs uh, that I like to play for different genres. And not everything in every one of the crates is played at every single wedding or every single event. But 
getting a good idea of, okay, they're really loving 2000s pop. You could jump over to that crate. And a lot of times I jump into it and I'm not even looking. I'm just like, oh, match BPM, boom. And then it just works. So It's the ones that make you confident that if you dragged any of these into your DJ software, it would just rock the party. Yep. Whoa, that's cool. That's uncommon. That's a treat. We don't get that very often. Can we put a one in the chat for Justin the DJ's contribution? I like to peek inside his brain because I'm going to say it right now, man. You are quite possibly the most clever person I'm following on Instagram. The way you tell a story in the shortest amount of time, I don't know how you do it, but if it's any way that you build your crate, I'm all in. I want to see it. Let's go, bro. Let's go. It's all about making it easy. You put in the hard work beforehand and then you could just show up to the event and just rock it out. So it's all yeah. I'm up, what I'm all about, bro. Cool. Very cool. We might have to get a little bit more crates from Malik too. Malik, we're going to go ahead and... Let's go. I'm with it. Let me know. Let's I'll talk press a little bit button. more about... I want to say anybody can raise their hand at this point. If you would like to speak about bangers at weddings, this is not a quick Q&A. This won't be our Q&A. What this is going to be right now is more of a, a round two. Let's talk about how we're mixing this. Let's talk about just what we're about to do with this. Malik, let's talk about just like the preparation you put into events. Let's talk about the energy level. How do you read crowds? Walk me through your formula for a banger wedding. Yeah, man. So start off with preparation is if I need to be prepped so that I can look at the crowd. That's the first thing is that if I am searching heavy for songs, I cannot look at the crowd. My biggest thing is looking at the dance floor like literally some sort of AI robot counting how many people just walked off. How old were they? Would the seven older women just walk off? Okay, let's go Whitney Houston. Let's bring them back on. So first is just like, I have to be able to be present as hell. Like, I don't like even my assistants, like talking to me too much, or I have them taking requests for people because I'm like tapped in heavily into the crowd, almost like obsessively. And then for me, it's giving something to everyone and never letting anyone ever get too bored almost like this call you don't people are going to start thinking about oh i gotta go do this I, I always tell our couples like i'm going to keep people so engaged that they're going to forget they have to go to the bathroom they're going to forget they have to go get a drink i want them to feel like if they leave to go get a drink or go to the bathroom they're going to miss a moment so this crate means a lot to me because this is what i live out of every week is that i'm going i dj from banger to banger. i don't anyone that has ever seen me do they knows like i stay on, like, I stay on it. Like, I'm never <laughs> stopping. So they're like, holy shit, I'm tired. And I'll give them a little break. But I'm like, once, and every region's different as far as there's dance sets in Chicago and Boston and Jersey. But like here, like we eat dinner, we do all this stuff from alleys and then we go hard for two, three hours. Wow. So I don't have like slow songs are at the end. So I'm like going. So I'm banging you like with bangers in hip hop and EDM and country in Motown, I'm going there and I'm not stopping. So I'm pretty aggressive. Like I'm not a slow song DJ. I'm pretty damn aggressive. And my couples love that though. A lot of couples that come to me, they're never like, oh, it's just a chill wedding. They're never, I don't get that. They're coming to me like, hey, we want to rage. And so there's always going to be like an EDM set where you're at Coachella, you're at Ultra. There's always going to be like, you're at the club. You're, I'm going to take you to a couple of different places. So I'm just wow. reading the crowd. I'm never letting anyone leave. That's my goal. And let's just talk about that full throttle acceleration moment. Reading the crowd, any tips or tricks? I think DJs have to be pretty empathic. They have to have kind of like that RoboCop scanner across the audience to see if they're doing well or <laughs> gauging their energy. I always try to ask DJs, yeah, how do you read the crowd and know when to play the bangers and when to just, you mentioned it earlier, dial it back just a little bit. You talk, uh, yeah, when I dial it back. Like I said, like the structure of our weddings are a little bit you know, just chunked up. So for me, I'll give them, I will give them, I know I'm overplaying how aggressive I am. I will give them a break in the sense of I'll slow it down. One of the things I do, I use my slow songs strategically. So if I feel like a bunch of older people left, I will throw a slow song in so that I can get them back. Reset, so yeah. I will do that. I'll use it very strategically. If they have, if they, I tell them to give me like four or five slow songs that I must play. So I'll start off one, maybe I'll start my set off with a slow song and go right into September or something. And then I'll know I have one at the end. Like I'll do two or three at the end, but I'm always going to use them strategically. So if I do feel like the young people do, or like, for example, a bunch of the younger people want to go to the bar and take shots. 
I'll go, okay, I already lost y'all. I'm not going to fight that. That's already happening. So let me slow it down. Dance, old, older people, get your slow songs in. When they take the shot, all right, let's come back. You know what I'm saying? So I'll use it strategically, but man, I'm like a maybe two, three slow song max. Kind Have of you ever had a tug of war between generations? I'll tell you a story. There was a time when the bride was insistent that I would just go really hard, but then the, you know, I was playing everything from Waka Flocka to some really questionable lyrics. And it was about the point that I started playing Genuine's Pony that the father of the bride came over to me and said, this has got to stop. Can you play some Neil Diamond? And of course, I would know that if I did that right then and there, I would have lost the younger crowd. Tell me about a time maybe that you've had where older versus younger and that generation gap caused you to question. For me, it's always at the beginning and the end where I'm fighting at the beginning where younger people are going to the bar, running to the bar, whatever they're doing, they're not ready yet. They have to get warmed up. There's a little bit more social anxiety for the younger people. Older people are ready to go. So at that transition, once the younger people have gone to the bar, got their drink and ready to dance, that's when they're, yo, does this DJ really know what we want? And I know they, they're doubting me in that moment. They're like, he <laughs> yeah, played September. Yeah. He played Boogie Shoes. He played Madonna. He played Prince. Okay. Is this DJ going to just stay? It's, and yeah. I'm like, yo, just wait. And then I'll give him that like transitional era, maybe something that's just like upbeat, but still like for me, I go from, so that, that transition time is hard because the younger people are like ready to go. Older people are like vibing with me. And then once I transition over to Donza Kudaro or like <laughs> Fireball, some, something that's not fully left, they get like, then the older people are like, damn, bro, I thought we was, I thought we was cool. And the younger, <laughs> people, and the younger people are like, yeah, and that's where it really, that's where the tension is. And then at the end where the older people are like, hey, I want to go home, but if you play something that I like, I'll stay. And then the younger people are like, I want to rage right now <laughs> and you're like i'm gonna i'm gonna play shout real quick and then <laughs> younger people are like oh hell damn but the shout is one of those like u- universal ones or like, september or something you gotta go like universal if you're yeah. gonna go old for me it's like i gotta give you something that the younger people might have heard on tiktok or something or their parents i can't go too deep yeah. into the old school motown whatever it is or 70s i gotta stay right there with you I but that, that it, uh, those are the hardest ones I got a good question. By the way, great answer. But I'm curious to see everybody else in the chat. Give me one song in the chat that you would consider to be that transition song. What is that transitional banger between generations? Is there a song that you would think of that would start to please the younger audience that also says, go away, (laughs) go away, old folks, it's time to rage? (laughs) Respect, Kiss from Todd. Oh, Crazy from Pitbull. Okay, that's a good choice, actually. I thought like playing, playing like the old, like the Kygo, like, remixes of Whitney remixes of the older stuff ain't no mountain like Mm. you could throw the remix to me because all of them have like EDM breakdowns so you can throw in there they could sing ain't no mountain high enough but it's gonna the breakdowns are gonna be EDM and then the young people are gonna understand it Mm. but yeah Yeah, yeah. okay that's a good idea you can also get a little more tricky with some of the remixes of familiar songs to cross that bridge wow okay short on time but let's play our next game what do you say we're gonna play a round of are you having fun by the way are you having a good time great love this malik dj malik hanging out with us we got justin the dj as well kicking it and for some reason my my game show my go my sound effects are gone my presentation glenn jim thank you yes i have nothing ready i'm sorry Uh, i don't know what we're going into oh rhythm (laughs) roulette there we go yeah yeah. rhythm roulette Aaron, stop singing. No one wants to know. I got nothing. I got nothing. This is Rhythm Roulette, everyone. We're all professional DJs. We are not professional singers. What we're going to play is... Oh, really? Stick around for the after party. DJ Jam will sing us through. What we're going to do is play around a Rhythm Roulette where we're going to pretend, oh shit, the song is about to run out. You're looking at your CDJ and you're like, oh no, the song is about to run out. I was too busy fighting with the father of the bride that my song is about ready to run out. What do I play next? So we're going to go back to this crate. We're going to go back to createoftheweek.com. I promise not to sing. And once we're in here, Malik, you tell me when to stop, similar to ones and O's. Go ahead. Stop. Okay. This time it has landed on Crazy in Love. 99 beats per minute. 
The song is about to run out. What do you play next? Sound off in the chat. 99 beats per minute. Eric says, Usher's yeah. Good choice. Hot in here from Glenn. We got Get Busy from Mike Willis. Cake by the Ocean by Todd Sigmiller. Rock Your Body by Jim. Great choice. Louis says, Get Low. Oh, he's going in with Get Low. Good call. Be Faithful. Good choice, Josh. Let's Go Crazy by Prince from Nick Clark. Wall to Wall. Whoa, is that Chris Brown? I forgot about that. Mike Willis, good as hell. Glenn Renda, DJ Malik, song is coming to an end. What would you have played out of that? I'm going like, I'm in Florida, so I'm going like, I'm going into my Spanish set. I'm going hips don't lie to Gasolina to, I'm coming out of that. I'm coming out of Crazy in Love. I'm gonna, if I'm going to get out of there, but if I'm going to stay in this big, like this sort of that vibe, I'm going like about damn time, levitating. Yeah. <laughs> stay, I'm, staying in, I'm staying in the soulful part of it. <laughs> okay, let's do it. You're catching on now. You know how this game works. Yeah. Tell me when to say stuff. Tell stop. me when to stop. It landed on Salt Shaker by Ying Yang Twins. You know, I love an early 2000s set for sure. Get Low or Donk, Crazy in Love, Mike Willis. If it's Ratchet, Ben Nova. Who said Ben Nova? Was that Tony, I think? Justin says, Blow the Whistle. Turn Down for What Remix from David. Work It by Glenn Renda. Gas Pedal by Jim. Booty by JLo. Haven't played that in a hot minute. Damn. Bring them out by T.I. Bring them out, bring them out, bring them out. Yeah, party up. It just, I mean, that's the, the 100, 100 BPM sweat. This set. may be the easiest time of the set for me is when I get into this. <laughs> what would you have done? God, I could go. I mean, <laughs> what's my favorite word? I could go nice for what? I mean, A ladies, Travis Porter. A ladies, I'll go A ladies because that's undeniable. I don't care mm. who you are. Mm. If you're a, if you identify as a woman, you are going to sing this stuff. <laughs> Let's do one more round of this. And I'm going to encourage everybody to get their hands raised on Zoom. Let's just talk about this. Let's pick the crate apart. Let's talk to Malik or just talk about wedding bangers in general. Our Q&A is coming up in a minute. Tell me when to stop, Malik. Stop. It's going to land on Starships by Nicki Minaj. Ooh. It's up 125 BPM. 125 BPM. Can I give this a zero or no? <laughs> Can we give it a zero? Can we just kill this song once and for all? Can we, can we just not even talk about this song anymore? Let's just kill that all together. Let's try again. Zero, please. Tell me when to stop. <laughs> Nikki doesn't even like it. Just hate that man. song. Hate stop, it. stop, stop. Gasolina. Oh, shit. If, you, if everyone doesn't put Bad Bunny, they've never been to Florida. <laughs> if everyone doesn't put Bad Bunny, don't come to Florida. You won't survive. Talkie Talkie from Nick. Gas pedal from Brody. Party by Matthew. Yes, you can come to Florida. Jesse says temperature. I might need a transition edit for that one. Yeah, man. There's a law in Florida that if you uh, if you don't play, if you play three Spanish songs without playing Bad Bunny, you could get in trouble for sure. Okay, man. Final thoughts before we take any Q&A and uh, talk about a potential after party. Malik, send us home with some Malik wisdom. Oh, man. Man, my... Uh, it, my goal is always to resonate with the most people I can without being cheesy and played out. And I'm always ready to transition out of a song. I'm never married to the song. I'm always ready to pivot and I'm always looking at the crowd. Crate Hackers helps me do that for sure without the beautiful Serato face, but man, yeah. it's drop your ego. It's about the crowd. And so it's that balance between pleasing the people and then really getting them little education, but mostly making sure people are dancing. And yeah, I would say we got to let go of the ego a little bit, but you got to get creative at the same time. So I think our job as wedding DJs, whoever does weddings is to find that good medium between pleasing and, and being creative and pushing the boundaries a little bit, man. My man, you're getting some ones in the chat. I'm seeing some more. Let's get some ones moving here for Malik. And uh, I appreciate it. By the way, I got a question for you. Scale yep. of one to 10. How's your music library? You organized? Oh, it's bad, bro. I, I did. <laughs> I got like halfway through and then season hit for us. So summer, our, this is my last big season, last big weekend of season. And I'm back to it. But I purged. I did purge. You did. Purge. I just haven't gotten to, I've gotten rid of the duplicates, but I got to finish the rest of like really cleaning up the crates. I have a lot of like excess stuff that I never play that I need to get rid of. So what's a safe but, number for you, by the way. And by the way, we are getting them a free membership, right? Get them back in. Somebody get them back in. What yeah, I think my you? CFO, I think my CFO might've canceled like the other, I just hired a new CFO. We got you. Don't worry. He might've canceled I, me. I, I'm not I, sure. I, I, you up, Malik. I got, I okay. you. I'll send it to you again. What's a number yeah. for you? What's a safe number of songs you carry with you before you start oh. to panic? Oh, damn. 
Sheesh. I think when I got on, before I got on Crate Hackers, I was like 52,000. It was like wild. It was, uh, it was a couple other, it was wild. So I think I'm now I'm at like 8,000 or something. Or, yeah. Yeah. But it, it was wild. It was wild. I had like albums. I had folders of albums. Who does that? <laughs> Who needs albums anymore? <laughs> I like took my iTunes and put it in my, it was wild. But. We were talking about this earlier. Dominic and I were talking about the future of DJing. And is it the name DJ that could change? Think about this. Disc jockey. When's the last time we touched a disc? What the hell is a jockey? Could the name with everything that's changing and all of that, could it, it, will the DJ change the name someday? I think anything is possible at this point. <laughs> if someone said AI, it might be a AI fill in the blank. But uh, oh, I, yeah, I don't. I think DJ will stay just because of like festivals and. But now, actually, I you know Calvin Harris, David Get, like all those guys are just their name. So it might not. Who knows? Can I show you something, Glenn? Can I show him? Oh, can I, I, I? Can we release this thing that I built last night? Why not? Hell. Okay. All right. Let's let us know. Since, since nobody's raising their hands and asking any questions, I'm going to pretty much play a better game for us all and show you that I uploaded my brain to the internet last night. I uploaded my brain to the internet last night. I repeat, I took everything that I was right up here and I put it into something that I think could help everybody on the chat tonight. Let's put it to the test. Malik, you're familiar with chatbots, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's start over again here. I took everything from the Cray Hackers help desk. I took everything from manuals. I took YouTube scripts that I had written. I took conversations that we've had in the Facebook private group and I fed it to a chatbot. Has anybody seen these new AI chatbots and what it can do? This I think is going to help a lot with our help desk team. Not to say we're going to replace the help desk team by any means, but we get a lot. Is it safe to say as hackers, we get a lot of repetitive questions. You're all in the Facebook private group and you see so many people asking the same questions over and over again. And while we love our community, it does get pretty overwhelming, especially when we're talking 5,000 members. And we, over the time, we've served thousands of DJs members. So let's play a game. Malik, ask me a question about music organization. What is the ideal amount of songs to have in my library? Ooh. If it says 8K, I win. So what I went through was- The answer is 24,000. Um, it's magic. You can tell it anything you want. Based on the information given, the ideal amount of songs to have in your library is subjective and depends on your personal preference. However, it is recommended to have a lean library and decide the maximum number of songs at all times. Be stringent on adding the songs going forward and only graduate a song to your folder when you know you're going to play it more than once this season. That is a direct quote from me, as a matter of fact. I remember saying that on a previous webinar. Radio, you, back me up. I said that before, right? Can, yes. you type yes, in, yeah. can you type in, please give me a number. Stop playing. You Stop are a programmer's nightmare, dude. Because right? I mean, I'll really mess with chat GPT like please that. Stop give me <laughs> Stop playing. <laughs> songs. Stop. <laughs> no G. <laughs> Let's see what Aaron, the assistant, says. Again, I fed my brain to a chatbot. Everything that we've ever talked about over the past four years. Uh, I apologize if my previous response was not helpful. Based on the information, I got to stop with that. Uh -huh. Be stringent. Okay, let's do another one. Somebody else give me that one sucked. So uh, this is funny because I typed that exact same prompt when he said it. I said, stop playing, give me a number. And it came back and said, I'm sorry, I'm not sure what number you're referring to. Okay, let's oh, try again. Uh, Justin, the DJ, really big yet. <laughs> Justin, the DJs, stump, stump my brain on the internet. Give me a question. Oh, the first thing that came to my mind was something like, if I have this type of crowd in front of me, what type of music should I play? What if, kind I, of if I have a younger crowd playing in younger audience, what kind of music should I play? I see this. I'm not showing off here. I really want you all to see the potential of this. Imagine a chatbot that could be running in the background for your inquiries. Like you've already fed the yeah, pricing for your lighting packages, your customer service desk. You can feed it anything you've ever repeated what if, constantly. What if I told you you could ask that question, Justin, and it would actually just give you a list of songs that you could export into Crit Actors? Keep talking, Glenn. Yeah. Speak louder. Speak louder and slower, please. I've done that I before. Did. I jump on ChatGBT and I'm all like, hey, I need a, I need 20 songs that fit this style and I'll give them a song example. And then sometimes it'll be a butt to you and be like, it kind of depends. And then you're like, no. 
a song, <laughs> and then it will finally do it. So oh. I've done that a couple times before. It's pretty funny. Let's Glenn, just talk we'll, to us. We'll just say stay tuned at this point. Say stay oh, tuned. Man, that. Stay tuned. So I so you think I could upload my whole CRM and have it answer questions for if people are like, hey, how do I add an upgrade or how do I? They it can yeah. just that's crazy. I'll take you behind the scenes. I'll let you see it. Thousand it's called. Reviews. Yeah, I'll take you behind the scenes and show you how it works here. It's called Chat Node. Let me see if I can. I might need to log in. So let me stop sharing my screen. Oh, here it is. Okay. This is sick, y'all. Check this out. Uh, I can sit here like I did last night for six hours and just keep feeding it URLs. So I fed it help.createhackers.com. By the way, any hackers have any questions? We put together a pretty robust article site. And so we just said, hey, chatbot, learn everything we typed and it's fetching the URL. So imagine this being for what? your... So hold on. I would say if we started a chat bot for you, Malik, we would go and look at your Instagram. We'd look at your website. We'd look at your pricing and then just keep feeding it. Oh, and maybe say something like my office hours are nine to five. I'm not going to do that. But if I did, I could train the bot to remember that. So if anybody asks, Hey, what are your store hours? Train the bot. And the next time it's pretty amazing. That's fine. It is pretty dope. It's called chat node. Dot AI and I'm going to send my brain out to you all. <laughs> I, I'm going to send my brain out to you all for anybody who has Serato questions, for anybody who has duplicate questions, for anybody who has iTunes problems, for anybody who has blah, 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 blah. I'm going to give it all to you in a chat bot so I can just save my voice. We'll be there for top tier support. We'll be there in the private group and all of that. But I think that if you can just try it out, maybe you can set your path with the music organization and we can get down to what was it? What was your num magic number, Malik? What's your. I'm, eight, I'm like 8,000 right now, I think. It kind of feels like a weight loss battle, doesn't it? Like, I'm down like 52,000 songs. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And then you go in a pool and download more, and you're like, I just gained some weight here. I swear I'll lose it. I swear I'll lose the weight. I had fun. Did you have fun? Put a oh, one. Great, Put man. a one. Got to keep hopping on these, man. Okay. Thank you, Malik. Thank you, Todd. Thank you, Spy. Thank you, Michael Kennedy. Thank you, Justin the DJ, for popping through. Again, I want to encourage you all to hit up CrateHackers.com and check out Justin's crates. We'll hopefully twist his arm for some more down the line. Can I say something about AI real quick? Two seconds. Here. Yes. I think, you know, I saw some people talking about how might like AI is going to take over. I think the, the confidence that we can have as DJs is that I said it earlier about being present. I think no matter what, man, I think we're able to be, what we have is the gift of presence. And I don't think AI can take that, at least not yet, unless it has like our heart rates and, and all, unless it's tapped in like our, our Apple watches or something, which that sounds like a good idea. But I think no matter what, man, like our level of presence and reading the crowd and feeling the crowd and whether it's going out to the crowd or pointing at people in the crowd or connecting with people, I, AI can't steal connection just yet. So I think no matter what, man, just be confident that you, what you guys are doing is the human thing that you guys are doing of connecting and giving your clients what nothing, no one else can like lean into that heavy as hell. Here's so. the way I see it. Here's I am, I I am it. working on heartbeat detection though. So. <laughs> yeah, I knew yeah, yeah, already. Yeah. Forget it. We lost. <laughs> I see it. So let's say the robots take over the world, right? Let's say maybe our jobs are taken away. Let's say that the copywriters and the bankers and the everything is all run by the robots. We're not going to have much else to do but part. We're, if you really think about it, if the overlords of technology are going to take over, we're going to have nothing else but just the community to rely on. We're all going to set up in little camps and dance. It's going to be like that scene from The Matrix Part 2 where everyone just rages in the cave while the... They're sucking our bodies for battery juice to power the virtual. Anyway, thanks for joining tonight. Appreciate y'all. <laughs> We're going to go deeper if you ever want, just by subscribing. Click on the YouTube link, click subscribe. And while you're there, catch any replay you may have missed with the okay. hackathon. We get deep sometimes. Yeah. Aaron, thanks so much for having me, man. If y'all want to follow me and just engage with me, I love vibing with you guys on Instagram. So DJ underscore Malik, man. Just, yeah. We'll love to, we'll love to be friends with you guys, man. For sure. There he is right here, DJ Malik, and I'm inspired. I'm not tired. What's your energy level in the chat? Y'all want to continue the party? Let's right. go. Let's wanna... go. I'm ready. Yeah, man. I got the bourbon rocking, man. All yeah. right. So it's official now. Check it out. The after party is going to be on Kick. We're going to head over to Kick. Everyone, switch your browsers in about five minutes to kick.com and then search Cray Hackers. I will go live. Right her. I think I'm going to play. I'm going to play the EDM dance party number 41 crate. EDM dance party number 41 crate. So if you want to follow along, 
cool. If you just want to kick back and watch the visuals, I get pretty, I go hard. Wedding bangers, wedding bangers. You ready? Let's go. Kick.com forward slash the Cray Hackers. And if you wouldn't mind passing that over in the chat for me, radio, before we bounce out, I'll get set up and see you there. Happy hacking.